What's up, everybody? I'm Kelly Fly, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. So, we're gonna do another long session like we did last time. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. Just gonna record. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance! I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw... That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. That fucking bombshell was just like, what? Oh my god. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Okay. Of course. Yeah, you get it now, don't you, fucker? In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything. I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? I mean, you had to tell her eventually. She's about to be a grown adult. She should know this. She deserves to have this information. Chloe. I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. We got this together. I'm so glad. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> in high school there was one person everyone adored her teachers her friends Sarah was everyone's favorite every boy wanted to date her I could barely believe it when she picked me sometimes I think that's what kept me blind for so long She was so beautiful, just like you. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. 
while the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. I only saw what I wanted to see until it was almost too late. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. so much love, but I was still blind. The drugs. This all feels like someone else's life. Whatever happens, Rachel, I'm here. <sighs> what happened? However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah... The need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. I mean, just because she's that, a... No matter what happened, She would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What exactly? Okay, so neglect, I understand. Was that the most of it? Because he makes it sound like there was something else that happened. And I don't like his language about addicts. It's a hard thing to explain, but you have to have some sympathy for addicts. It's not as simple as just getting over it. You know, like, it, it's a difficult thing, and sometimes you you crumble you can't expect a family to be what fixes everything for an addict it's something that they have to fight every single day and that's awful but it's the truth and that's why it's not fair to say that they're just a, a bad person for being an addict it's not fair to them what you saw at the Overlook, Rachel. It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It 
pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe. Damn. So, like, what does that leave? What position does that leave you in, Rachel? So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in fifteen years. No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now. She wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Who says it's your decision? You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. Maybe people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest Cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Heart, heart. Uh, yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks. I can't. But you were amazing. I'll even admit that Mr. Keaton seemed a little disappointed when I arrived. Seriously? Just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Damn, I'm going upstairs. Fuck all this shit. Fuck you people. I'm going. It's Rachel. I'm not talking to anybody. She needs us now, and she needs us as soon as possible. Rachel? You okay? I like your room. What's that here? Oh god, it's faster. Let's travel. <laughs> I like the mask. Cool. some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. <laughs> Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Uh, alone. To our wonderful daughter, on the night of her first show, break a leg. We love you, Mom and Dad. Yeah. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. <laughs> Has to be Cancer and Leo Hot. <laughs> yeah. The cusps of oscillation. Mm. See, I'm just a straight up Scorpio. Smack dab in the middle. No cusps. This light needs more light. <laughs> 